Hi, everybody. Welcome to Journey to Success. My name is Pete Asmus, and I'm going to be your host tonight for Coast to Coast Ria's Journey to Success. Today is February 9th, 2014, and we are going to have an amazing night tonight, day, night, whatever it is. You, you know, I know that people are listening on a podcast as well, so who knows when you're listening to it, but here's the thing. I'm glad that you are. We're going to go over a lot of different things tonight, but the main focus of tonight's webinar is all about the words that we use. And, I, and I'm saying that because to me, really, the words are a focal point. They're a foundation upon which we, we leverage, we jump off of, right? And if we're walking around every day using bad words, using words that are disempowering, using words that are taking our legs out from under us, then really what you're doing is you're creating a, a, a bigger challenge for you to get to your goal. You're creating a bigger, a bigger wall in front of you. You're, you're creating more distance, right? You're creating more obstacles for you to jump over. That doesn't make sense. So tonight we're gonna go over what those words are, how can we avoid using those words, right? And what are some different things and, and tools and tips and I don't know, just everything that can get you to move forward. Um, the reason that I am uh, that I'm giving you this advice, the reason that I'm saying what I'm saying is because I've done this stuff. I've, I've, I've changed my life. I've changed where I was. I used to be 260 pounds and I'm 165 now. I used to, to smoke. I used to chew. I used to have all kinds of bad habits and I quit all of them. How? Well, I did it through asking questions. I did it through motivation. I did it through persistence. I did it through consistency. And, and once I did a few of those things, what I did was I wrote a book. And I wrote a book called uh, Force Your Dreams Into Reality. And if you haven't read that book, guys, you need to read the book. Go to forceyourdreams.com or you can go to c2creia.com forward slash force your dreams. Either one, it's going to get you to the same place. I have the intro to the book right there. I, I created a whole new landing page, so I'm really excited about it. So please go and check it out. Look, at least look at the landing page and tell me what you thought of it, all right? Um, because I put a lot of work into it. Because here's the thing, guys. When you want to launch, when you want to get where you want to go, it's about branding. It's about who you are. So start thinking about who you want to become because it doesn't matter to me if you want to be in real estate, if you want to be a realtor, if you want to be a mortgage broker, if you want to be a banker, if you want to be a taxi cab driver, if you want to be a pilot, if you want to be an actor, whatever it is. Wow, I'm sorry about that. Whatever it is that you want to be, right? You've got to have certain things in line. You're going to have to have passion for it. You're going to have to have belief. You're going to have to have consistency, a strategy. There's all kinds of things. You're going to need to network. You're not going to be able to get there on your own. So the question becomes, what do you need to do? Well, the first book, Force Your Dreams Into Reality, it was 40 pages, 40 pages or 43 pages. It's not long. It's all about what you need to do. It's what you need to do. You need to have passion. You need to believe in yourself. You need to, to have a good strategy, right? You've got to do certain things. And, and, you know, it's funny because Mike said, I love the book. It was awesome. How do you do that? And I never thought about it. I thought, well, you got to go get passion. Okay, well, how? Um, I, don't, I, I guess I don't understand the question. Don't, don't you have passion? But I had to realize that everybody isn't like me. Everybody isn't like they're plugged into a, a, a wall 24-7. I bring energy to the table. I bring excitement. I bring passion. Why? Because that's how I've seen things get done. I just start going. I don't have to know everything in the beginning. I, and and I, I usually never do. I just start doing what I want to do. I think, you know what? This is a great idea. I'm going to do it. And then I start doing it. And then I start think, seeing things that didn't work, that, that aren't working. And I adjust them. And I, and I adjust this way. And I adjust that way. And then boom, I'm off and running. Look, a plane that takes off, even when it says as the bird flies, right? In a straight line. Look, there's winds that go this way, winds that go that way. There's all kinds of different things that make it so that they constantly have to adjust the stick. They constantly have to adjust where they're going. Why do you think that you're any different? Because you're not. No matter what you do, you're constantly going to have to be adjusting. Just like driving a car. Even if you want to drive straight, you're constantly doing this, right? If you didn't, you could let go of the wheel. You could just lock the wheel in place and let go, right? But that's not the case. If you were to do that, you would, you'd start drifting one way or another. And then you'd be off the road. So the question becomes, what is it that you need to do to stay driven? What is it that you need to do to stay going down that same road? And when, when 
when I was posed with that, when Mike, when Mike Jensen said that to me and hit me with, that's a great book. Love it. It's the what, how do you do it though? What's the, you know, the how, what's the how I mean, I keep wanting to say why, but that's not the right word. What, what is the how, how do you do it? And so that's what caused me to write the second book. It, it's kind of cool too, because I never planned on writing a first book. I never thought that I, I just didn't, I don't know. I just didn't think that that was me that, that I guess I keep saying that. And this is what I mean by shattering who you are for who you want to become. I kept thinking that that wasn't me. I wasn't the type of person that did that. I mean, who would want to listen to what I had to say? Who would want to, who, I mean, why would anybody want to read my book? And that was the wrong attitude because the reality was there was a lot of people around me that wanted to read the book that I wrote. And when I wrote it, even more people started gravitating to it. It's amazing. It's, it's so crazy. Sometimes I go back and I read it and I'm like, dang, I can't even believe I wrote that. That's like, that's so cool. That's so smart. That's so great. And I read my own book. It's again, it's not, it's not a book that is about, it is, it does teach you, but it's not about that. It's about showing you what to do. You know, exactly what, what Mike said. I mean, that's such a perfect example. It was showing you what to do. Look, you need to go do this. You need to go. So it wasn't like a book of, Hey, we want to get you to, to learn how to croquet, right. Or crochet or whatever. It, it's not like that. It was, it was what you needed to do. And so the next book that I'm writing right now is the how. And I started thinking about, well, how did I get there? How did I do this? How do we do these things? And the answer was simple. It's through questions. Whatever you want to do in your life, it's always going to come down to questions. It always is, right? Because the, the reality is questions dictate what you do. They dictate what you think. They dictate what you feel you're capable of. Questions you ask yourself will show you what you can do. Now, what do I mean? Well, let's take a five-year-old. You put a five-year-old child and you say, hey, how do you get from here to there? They're going to tell you how to get from here to there with the tools that they understand, with the, with the things that they know. Well, I'll get on my trike and I'll ride over there. If you ask a 20-year-old, a, a you're going to get a much different answer. And my point is, that the more tools you have at your disposal, the more, the more edu not education, experience that you have, the more you're starting, you, you'll be able to see what works, what doesn't work, right? So what you want to start doing is thinking outside of the box. Start looking at what you can do. Start looking at what is possible instead of always looking at what isn't possible. Always looking at what you can't do right? And that's when it comes into those words that I'm talking about. The words that we use on a consistent basis determine where we're going. The words make up the questions, right? So don't think for one second you can say, how awesome am I, right? But you're not using the word awesome. You're using piece of crap. How big of a piece of crap am I? Because do people do, man, seriously, they're blowing up my phone. Um, because at the end of the day, it's going to come back to what is it that you want to do? What is it? I, I know, I'm sorry. I totally got lost by that phone, man. It, it just completely distracted me. It's going off like every three seconds. Um, so where was I? I was talking about, um, man, talking about journey to success or we're, we're going. Mike, where was I at right there before, before I got uh, distracted, man? Um, I am not calling you. I'm not calling you. I don't, you're going to have to give me a little bit more than I'm not calling you or you're not going to tell me. I don't understand. What are you saying to me? Um, all right. Well, whatever. I, I, I guess I don't know. I, I don't remember where I was at. So we'll just, we'll just move forward from here and we'll go to, you know, tonight's call is going to be about the words. It's going to be about the words that we choose, the words that we use. That's what it was. I was talking about words and, and the words that we use, those, those are determination of what we think, you know, not only the questions that we ask, the determining factor, but the words that we use, because the words really, God, that's why I love words so much. I love shatter it Saturday, Sh man, just the way that sounds right. Just shattering something. I love the way that sounds. So when it goes back to, all right, well, cool. What can we do? What are the words that we're using on a consistent basis that are disempowering? What are the words that we're using on a consistent basis that are empowering? 
Because if we can understand the difference between the words and we can start utilizing the words that, that we want to use, utilizing the words that are going to empower us and stop using the words that aren't, man, then we're going to be there, right? That's, that's when we're going to reach that next level of us. So that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. I'm going to get this off of there. Now I can't see what I look like. So uh, that's probably a better thing. Um, and the lighting is horrible in here, but it is what it is. So let's have fun. All right. Journey to success with Pete Asmus. Questions are the key to unlocking your reality. When, when we talk about getting forward, moving forward, reaching your dreams, reaching your success, I'm going to tell you right now, it's always going to come down to your questions. Start making sure that the questions that you're asking are driving you forward, not pulling you back. What do I mean? Well, you can ask different questions in the same way. And one way is like telling everybody that you want nothing to do with it. And the other way is embracing that and moving forward with it. You could say, why does this always happen to me? And say it in a way that, man, it's like the world's coming to an end, right? Or you can say, how lucky am I that this always happens? And again, you can find the reasons that it's good, right? Even when something bad happens, I will ask the question, man, how great is this? Why is this a good, th why is this a good thing? Why is this a good thing? Man, that is one of the most empowering questions that you can ask. Because if you really ask it, right, and, and at first, if you're pissed off, you're going to go, why, you know, and you go, why is this a good thing? You're going to go, it isn't a good thing. Like, what the hell are you talking about? This is stupid. Why are we even excited about this? We shouldn't be excited about this. Let's get on with things, right? But when you really bring it back to it, if you really were to dig down and go, okay, well, why, how could this be a good thing? Maybe let's change the question like that. How could this be a good thing? And you really look for that answer, you'll find it. And the reason that it could be a good thing is going to be something different than you thought. And if you constantly go through your life looking for the good things, why is this a good thing? 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 You're going to get positive results out of everything that you do, no matter what. Now, would you rather work all day and get positive results all day long? Do you think that that's going to refill your energy? Or do you think that striking out all day long, getting kicked, right? Getting pushed getting slammed. Does that give you more energy? No. When bad things happen to us, we get the wind taken out of us, right? It's like, it's like our whole world just ended. So how do, we, how do we prevent that from happening? By asking different questions, by putting little tags on the different on questions, right? Like if I have to do something, I think we talked about this last week, where if I had to do something and it was like, all right, I've got to go and man, I've got to do all this SEO work, right? And I really do. I have like a ton of this stuff, like the landing page is one of the examples of things I've been working on to make things better. Because look, I can have the best book in the world, but if, if nobody knows it's there, if nobody reads it, what does it matter, right? So you've got to be found. So SEO is important, search engine optimization. It's extremely important. And then the more I find out, this is crazy, man. <laughs> When I used to put together the videos every morning, right? When I very first started almost a year ago, it took me an hour, hour and a half to do. Why? Because my girls were crazy. They didn't listen. They were all over the place, right? I mean, it wasn't, they didn't just cop in and just do it like on, on cue like they do now, right? It wasn't like that at all. It was, I mean, it was a three-year-old and a four-year-old showing them, hey, let's do something that could be fun. This could be cool, right? And we would do it over and over and over. Well, as that got faster, other things came on. Well, once I started doing that faster, I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Now I can get these done quick. Well, then I got a better camera and a better phone. So then I was able to uh, upload it in HD, which that ended up taking longer. And then I learned about SEO. And then I learned about titling these things differently. And then it was like so much stuff. And as, as I figure out a faster way to do something, I learn something new that comes in and takes the place. So it still takes me like an hour to upload these, these videos every morning. But now I have the, the pictures and I do the little the annotations on the front of them, right? So people can see, hey, go make something happen.com. They get it. They can, they can go to it. It's, it's seeing it over and over and over again, right? Branding, branding, branding. Because what do you want to have happen when the opportunity strikes? Do you want to be prepared? Or do you want to be waiting and going, man, oh, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. That's why I live in such an urgency. 
because I constantly feel like I'm about to get that next big thing. And if I'm not prepared, I'm going to lose it. I'm not going to get that opportunity. And I do not want to miss out on any more opportunities. That's all I want to create. That's all I want to take, take hold of is opportunities. Isn't that like you? Don't you want opportunities? What are you doing right now to look for them? Are you just wondering why they aren't coming to you? Or are you actually actively out there actively looking? And I don't mean just actively looking like talking to your friends and da-da-da-da-da, but I mean putting together strategies, getting on like the bird dog call with Ivan, right? Doing that, finding new ways to do things. It doesn't mean that you're going to end up doing that strategy forever or maybe even longer than a month. I don't know. Who knows what you'll do? But as you keep doing things, different opportunities will present themselves. As you keep doing things, different options will come towards you. And that will allow you to go and step forward. That will allow you to go in a different direction, one that you never would have got had you not started here. So many times we, we just want to get there. I just want to get there. I just want to get there. Well, great. But let me tell you, you can't, it, it's not like Star Trek, right? You're not going to be able to and, and morph over there or whatever it is, like just, you know, fly over there. I, I don't know, particle beams or, or anything other than that. What that means is you've just got to step up and go, okay, I'm going to do it. I've got to get there through these steps. I've got to get there through going through the, okay, Sean, are you on now, bud? Because now I'm hearing, what is, okay, that should fix it. All right. Okay. I have no idea. This is so weird. Okay. Um, all right, hold on real quick. We're done with Google Plus. I can't figure out how to work it. And now all it's doing is echoing in everything, which is driving me crazy. So we'll come right back to where we were before. Thank you. Okay. All right. Easy, easy, easy. We try it. We, we did our best. Okay. We did our best to get Google Plus going, but I don't have time to figure it out right now. And I want to make sure that I'm not being distracted from you guys and, and we're all on point, right? And the other reason is because of this. Because that's what I think. I think I'm number one. You should think you're number one too. The reality is you are what you think. So be the biggest, greatest, most awesome thing that you can be. It's as easy as that. Sundays at 6 p.m. Every Sunday we are here. It's not a problem. We also do goal planning. We talk about that, right? We talk about how you can get started, okay? And then we're on our 10-week series. Go make something happen, guys. The end of the day, you know, when, when I was talking about this earlier, I, I, was, I was looking, or I was talking to somebody earlier about this, and it was, you know, the whole thing about the bad words list, right? They're right on here. I remember the time that I came up with, with, the wristband idea. I came up with go make something happen because of this right here, because of the words, because of those disempowering words. That's exactly why should equals must, try equals do, and can't equals will is right on there. That's exactly why. Because the reality is that those words take everything away from you. Those words rip out the ground. They, they allow you, they, they don't allow you to move forward. Because when you say, well, I'll, I'll try, you're really saying that it, you know, it's probably not going to happen. But we're going to get more into that, and I don't want to get into that right now. So um, here's the thing, though. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's right there on the, <laughs> it's right there on the screen. Um, all the doors that you've chosen uh, have got you to where you are. So you can't complain about where you are right now. See, you can, because people do all the time, right? So that's not a true statement, and that word sucks. You sh hmm. You do not want to complain. One, when you complain, you're, you're wasting an exorbitant amount of energy to something that nobody even cares about. How many times do you run up to somebody and go, man, I cannot wait to hear you complain about something. Please, 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 please complain about it to me. Do any of you ever run up to people at, at, and beg them to complain to you? I doubt it. I don't do that. I, in fact, I hate it when people complain to me because it drives me nuts. And it's, it, more importantly, it's, it's, you know, like like the people that will say, oh, this country is horrible. Do you vote? No, nope, don't vote. I, I mean, there's nothing. Why, why would you vote? That's not going to change anything. So you just want to complain, but you're not going to do anything about it to change anything. 
Yes, that, that's a waste of time. I don't even want to talk to you. I want to go and talk to somebody that's telling me about what they want to do. Man, who cares if it seems impossible? At least they've got a positive direction they're moving, right? At least what they're doing is putting everything into it, every bit of energy to reach that goal. What are you doing? Sitting around, judging them for taking action? That can't happen anymore. Today, this is your last day. Guys, we're already in February of 2014. When is your life going to become important enough to take action? When are you going to be uncomfortable enough? Are you going to be in enough pain that you, you force your willpower into action? We talked about this last week. You have got to create that pain. If you're not in pain right now from where you are and you're, not, you, you're, you're obviously not in enough pain, if you're not doing whatever it takes to get out of there. Because here's the thing. If you were taken and, and let's say that they, they put you and you were dropped in, I don't know, in the middle of, um, well, we'll just say uh, in the middle of, of Arizona, all right? What are you going to do? Are you going to start moving towards a direction of, of life? Or are you going to just sit there and go, well, we'll wait and see what happens. I'm sure somebody's going to drive by here. I mean, there's no roads anywhere, but I'm sure somebody would drive by and come and pick me up. No. Why? Why are you going to start moving? Because you're going to be scared. My God, you're in the middle of nowhere. You have no idea where you are. Right? And if somebody said, well, that direction is, is our people are that direction. And then they took off on the helicopter and, and bailed out. And now you're stuck there. And you know people are that direction. What are you going to do? You're going to start walking, right? You're going to start running, whatever. But you're not going to sit there and do nothing. But you're doing that right now in your life. You're sitting there and you're doing nothing. You're going to work and you come home. And then you're so tired from working that you, you eat something, you see your, your family for a little bit, if, if you do that, and then you watch TV. Maybe you don't have a family. Maybe you just come home and you, you pet your dog, your cat, your fish, your, I don't know, your bird, your iguana, your chameleon, your guinea pig, your, I have a turtle. I've got no idea what you have for a pet. But the thing is, I'll bet most of you will say, I'm slammed, Pete. I'm slammed. You have no idea how busy I am all the time. I'm so busy. I'm so busy. Are you where you want to be? No, 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 not even close. Are you happy? Mm -mm, nope, hate it. But you're not going to make time to do more things. Well, I'm just too busy. Well, that doesn't make sense. You're too busy to have a better life? You're too busy to have the life you want? Or you're too lazy? Because to me, it's not busy. It's lazy. You're lazy. You're not willing to get up an hour earlier. Why? Because you don't see the benefit yet, apparently. What I ask myself every morning that it's hard to get up, and, and typically at 6 a.m., it, it's not easy for me right now because I'm staying up till 2 because I'm just so excited about what I'm doing for real, um, that at 6, I have to open up my eyes and I have to say, okay, man, it, is my life where I want it to be? If I stay in bed, am I really doing the best thing that I can do for me? And is this how I'm going to make my life better? And I, it, inevitably, I'm, I get up out of bed because my life isn't where I want it to be right now. My life isn't as good as I want it to be. I want more out of life. Well, why wouldn't I? Why shouldn't you? So I'm willing to do what it takes to get out of bed. What is the question that you have to ask yourself to get up out of bed? What is it that you guys ask yourself when you really want to get yourself to move? When you're in a situation and, man, you just don't want to do it, right? What's the question that you ask to get yourself to take action? I'm really interested. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on that. Um, how about just wanting to get a better life? Absolutely, Mike. That, that's, that's another way to do it, too. Um, but I, I'd love to know what your questions are. And I, actually, I would love to put that into my book. So if you guys have questions, please email me. Not on here because I won't remember any of this stuff on here. But email me at Pete at C2CREIA.com. Email me the questions that you ask yourself. Email me some of your questions that you ask yourself, why you ask them. I mean, obviously, the more detail I have, the better. It, it'll be awesome. But I'd like to put these in my book. I'd like to put these in a section of, you know, people that worked with me. I don't know what I'll call it. I'll call it something really cool, though. And then I'll put your guys' questions in there. And, um, and we'll make this book part of yours, too, because 
to me, again, this is our journey to success. I listen to these as much as I tell you to listen to these. I listen to these every week. I listen to the journey to successes during the week. I listen to my radio show during the week. After I do them, I still listen to them. Like when I go to the gym or when I'm doing this or that in a car ride, because I care about, A, I care about what I'm doing. B, I want it to be of the best quality. I want you guys to be inspired. And if I listen to it, I'm like, oh man, that sucked. I, I got to stop doing this or I got to start doing this or whatever, because I want it to be great. I want it to be the best, period. And I want to impact people around the world. I mean, I still think it's nuts that this webinar is downloaded and I think it's like 25 different countries. So, I mean, the radio shows at 70 different countries. This is at 25 different countries. That to me, that's amazing. I love it, man. Turkey, France, the UK, China, Japan, all around. So the question is, this stuff is universal, right? The question is, what are you going to do? That's a universal question. What are you going to do today? What are you going to do right now? So many times when we ask these questions, we push them off, right? I can't wait to do that tomorrow. Can't wait to do that next week. Can't wait to do that. What do you mean? How about you can't wait to do that right now? How about you can't? How about that's your favorite? Let's make that your favorite, okay? Your favorite is, I can't wait to do this right now. That's my favorite. No more smiling. Smiling's not your favorite anymore. Now it's, I can't wait to do this right now. Start becoming excited about doing things. Ask different questions. Why would I be excited to do this right now? What are some great things that would happen to me if I did these right now? And you're gonna start getting answers. Well, they'd be done. Hey, dopamine, right? Let's talk about that. Dopamine and serotonin, all right? Or no, no, dopamine and you, um, euphemism. Uh, you, God, euphoria, hello. What is that thing that we, endorphins. I, I had nothing to do with use. Endorphins, endorphins and dopamine, they're the two things that our body can release on its own. Two drugs that we make up all on our own. Now, endorphins, you got to do something really long and really hard to get those things to kick in, right? Like a runner's high, like climbing, just exhausting your body to no end, right? We call it our second wind, things like that, okay? Those are endorphins popping up and you're going, all right, cool, let's party, right? Because your body's going into fight or flight mode and it's thinking, holy crap, we've got to fight, so let's go. Or we got to flight and we got to run, either way. Your body's pumping you up with energy. Well, dopamine is your body's way to get you to do things. That's what it is. What do I mean by that? Well, have you ever written down a task and then you cross it off, right? And you, you feel good, right? Well, that's dopamine. It's giving you a hit. When you, when you look and you're going to walk, walk somewhere or you're going to go somewhere, right? The closer you get, you look down, you're like, oh man, only 20 minutes left. And you're like, oh, I feel better, right? I'm closer. I'm this, I'm that. That's dopamine getting hit into the body. So if you want to feel better, it's real simple. Make a goal and then complete it. Make a goal and then complete it. Did you hear me? All you got to do is make a goal and then complete it. I just funny, I was listening to the radio um, and they, they always repeat things three times. It's like, make a goal and then repeat it. Make a goal and then repeat it. Make a goal and then repeat it. And hopefully what, what the studies must show is that that sticks and, and stays in, right? Except they do it with um with uh web or with web addresses like c to c ria.com. Please go to see and, and it was funny, they just repeat it and repeat it. So what I want you to understand is make a goal and then complete it. Because when you do that, you're gonna start getting that good feeling, that dopamine. You're gonna start living off of it. And hey, it can be addictive. But man, wouldn't you be rather wouldn't you rather be addictive, addicted? to getting things done, addicted to becoming successful, addicted to accomplishing things? Or would you rather be completely successful at not doing shit over here? Because I don't know, I, I, I don't wanna be that guy over there. I wanna be this guy over here. I wanna be this guy building something, creating something, designing something. That's why I did April in Atlanta. It was always, it was all, all about acquisitions and action, right? It's about going there and taking action completing things, going and buying properties. That's what I want to do and go there. If people want to come with me, great. If they don't, that's fine too. But I'm going there to do it. Why not? Why not start doing things differently? Create different results. That's what we are all about. And that's what this is all about today. And how are you going to do that? With words. So, ah, here we go. Go make something happen. All right. So questions are the key, right? That's all they are. They're the key to unlock anything that you want to do. We talked about what is communication. We talked about verbal communication. We talked about nonverbal, understanding your situation, 
we talked last week about creating opportunity and um, willpower out of pain, right? Today, it's going to be, no, that's not it. Man, are you kidding me right now? So let's grab this one real quick because that was slightly wrong. Um, bam. Go down here to presentations. All right. There we go. I know this one's right. Okay. Pass through here. And all right. The bad word list. Okay. So the impact of words, right? I love this picture right here. Bam. Like, look at that. That is the impact words have on you. You have to realize that it isn't just the, the way that you say things, especially when you're talking to yourself. All right. When you're talking to yourself, the words have that much impact. It's huge because you, con you constantly talk to yourself constantly. So realize that when you're talking to yourself, the words that you're choosing to use have an impact far beyond your reach, far beyond your imagination. You have got to make sure that you're using the right words because the implication of these words are going to have a huge effect on you down the road. I've been doing my best to stop using the word try, should, and can't since I think July. And I still use them. Daily basis, I'm snapping my wristband. This is something that for 40 years I've been driven into my brain to use. My girls, they don't even say those words. They don't. They don't. They, they, they literally, they never use those words. They have already been taught not to use them. At five years old, it took five months. At 40, it's taken, I, I don't know how long it will take but I'm gonna keep fighting every single day to stop using these words because I know how challenging it is. And I'm gonna tell you right now, man, sometimes it is a super big pain in the ass to figure out what to say because sometimes it feels like the only words that really work there are try or can't or should. And I have to sit there and go, man, and I gotta rethink and rethink and rethink. And then finally, I've gotta say like three sentences to say what I wanted to say in two words. But I didn't use the word. And the thing is, is it's about learning to stop using those words because they don't do anything good for you. Even if, you know, if you, if you needed to use the word, then you probably shouldn't be saying it in the first place because it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. Like every time I needed to use the word try to be to, to in the sentence to make it make sense, it was usually a joke. It was usually something that I was saying to be funny. Well, I don't need to say that though, right? I'd rather inspire. Now, I do want to make people laugh, right? But I, I would truly rather inspire somebody to do more than to just make them laugh. Because if I make you laugh, I make you feel good for a minute. If I inspire you, I make you feel good for the rest of your life. So I do care which one I do. And I do want to inspire more than anything. So impact of words, disempowering words. We talked about those, right? What are disempowering words? Man, these are some big ones, right? Terrible, confused, negative, skeptical, apprehensive. These are now these aren't necessarily as 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 negative or disempowering as the words like try. The words like I hope, I hope it'll work out. I hope I can do it. I hope it can happen. Now that's much different than saying you you need to have hope because you do. You have to have hope, right? You have to have dreams, I guess. I guess you could use, you, you don't have to use the word hope. You could say that hope is a bad word. But the, the fact is that people need to have that emotion. What you shouldn't have is that emotion towards getting your goals. You can't hope that I'm going to get my goals done. Man, now you're just, I hope, oh, well, who knows, right? It's the same thing as saying try. So those words, they got to be, oh, here we go. This is what we need to do with those words. There we go. Launch them. And now they're gone, right? We got to do that to those words. To the word should, here you go, should. Should, you're going to have to get out of the way, man. All right. Now should is all over the wall, right? Because that's what we want to have happen. Those words have got to be destroyed. They've got to be just poof, gone. Get rid of them. 
Because here's the thing, guys, I'm going to tell you right now. Winning is not a sometime thing. It's an all the time thing. You don't win once in a while, and you don't do things right once in a while. You do them right all the time. Winning is a habit. It is. Winning is a habit. It's a habit, a consistent habit. It's doing it over and over and over, the right way every time. It's about looking at the positive things, not the negative. It's about looking at the possibilities, not the obstacles. Because when you look at the possibilities, all you see is what you can do. And when you start feeling and thinking like you can do things, you're going to start doing things that are impossible, that nobody would have ever thought of. Because all you're doing is looking for a solution. All you're doing is finding the answers. Now, see, I could have said, all you're doing is trying to find a solution. But was, which one was more impactful? Impactful. Which one impacted you more? Right? The first or the second? So let me tell you right now, words, you need to write these down. The word try, the word should, the word can't, and the word hope. And then I want you to get a big red pen and I want you to draw a line through them. In fact, if I were you, I would put them up on your dream board, your message board, whatever, but I would put them up huge. And then I would put a big red line through them. Why not? Show yourself visually, get connected to it. And then get up and say, I'm not using those words. I will not use those words. Not I'm gonna try not to, not I shouldn't, not I can't. Not I hope I don't, but I won't. I will not. And take that just, man, that pure energy, right? I mean, can you feel it when you just say, I will do something, right? You could just feel that. I mean, I can feel that in my chest. It's like, it's like I'm that guy on the, the, the Street Fighter game, right? And I can just throw one of those, those balls of light. I mean, that's honestly how much like just raw emotion I feel like I can pull when I wanna get really deep and I wanna say, you know what, I will not do something or I will do something or whatever. But that passion, that passion is inside of you too. It's inside of all of us. So what are you going to do to reach down and grab that passion? What are you going to do to pull it out of you? What are you gonna do to pull that rock star out of you? Because he lives within all of us, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? You are amazing. And that's all there is to it. If everybody could be like you, this world wouldn't be unique. The reason that this world is so amazing is because we are all so different. So the question, and I always say this, but the question is, what makes you different and unique? What is so incredible about you? Because there is something about you. You need to ask the question to find out what it is. That way you can start to expose it. You can start to exploit it. And you can start to show people what your vision is, what your brand is, and what your determination is. All right? Now, what else do we have? Well, we have empowering words, right? Like these. Best, innovative, solution, leader, leading, right? All these cool words. Will, must, do. All right? You don't hope for things, you do them. You accomplish them. You make them happen. You don't, you, it's not about should, I should do it, I shouldn't do it, I should. If you should, then you must. If you should, then why, why wouldn't you? Seriously, here's a question. Okay, so let's ask this logically. Do you want to be in a better place in life? Answer. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Here, we'll we'll ask we'll ask it with our with our stage hand here. Um, where where, Bob? Bob, come on over here, and uh, we've got a question for you. Let's see. Um, where is Bob? Bob, come on, Bob. There, oh, geez, Bob, there you are. Uh, Bob, would you um would you like to have a better life? Yes. Okay. Great, Bob. Thank you. And Bob, if uh, if you could, um, would you want everybody around you to like you yes okay perfect i love this excuse me it's, it's okay it's okay that's a it, it was okay that was a that was a right answer bob so thank you very much okay now bob if you want things to get better and you're you're you want these things to happen then then wouldn't it make sense 
that if you should do it, you will do it? Yes. Okay. So then the question is, why don't people do that? <laughs> What, you don't you don't know the answer to that, Bob. OK, I get it. So you you're saying that that people aren't doing what they want to do because because they're afraid. Shut up. OK. All right. So apparently Bob's out of here. He doesn't want to talk about this anymore. But that's the reality. You know that you should do it. You know it. But you're not doing it. Because why? I'm lazy. I don't have time. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have this. No, the reason is because it's not important enough to you, period. It just isn't. Let me tell you what's important. Eating, that's important. I don't care if you don't have time or not, you will find a place and a time to eat, right? Because you're going to go psycho at some point because you haven't eaten. And everybody around you is going to go, okay, hold on, hold on. Everybody stop what's going on and feed him right now because I can't handle any more of this. So if you accomplishing success was the same as you needing to eat, how would you be acting right now? That's my question. Would you be okay? Or would you be throwing a complete fit because you're starving? And if you were starving, what are some of the different things that you could do right now to reach those levels, to reach those goals? What are some questions that you guys can ask yourself that would motivate you to move up and out of, of where you're going? What are questions that you guys ask right now that, that show you that you can do more. What are some great empowering questions, guys? Let me, I, I want to know right now. Tell me what some great empowering questions are. We've got, uh, let's see how many. Oh, wow. We've got, we've got 45 people on tonight. So that's awesome. We're starting to grow back out again. We had a couple of those weeks where we were off for a, a couple of times because we were in the plane and man, it kind of messed with everything, but we're starting to climb back up. So I want to thank everybody for being on here. And a few of them, I mean, Brandon, Beth, Abel, uh, Chris, John, Frank, Sean, good Sean's on here now. Uh, Nan, well, anyways, Nan, there's a ton of people on here. Um, I feel like, again, this is like romper room, but um, so what, what it is, uh, I, and I don't know where we were going before that. Oh, it was the questions. So guys, throw out some questions that you ask um, that you do. And, and here's a poll here that I'd like you guys to answer. Um, let's see, who has used the goal program? Let's launch that poll. Guys, we have a goal program. It's absolutely free. And I see a lot of new people on right now, so I want to bring it up. The goal program is basically all about a two-week program to, to keep you focused on your goals, to keep you focused on the direction that you're going. And here's the other thing, guys. If you don't have $3 to get one of our wristbands, email me. Let me know. I'll send you one for free. Because to me, it's not really about the money. The $3, it's, we're not getting rich on the $3. Now, if you want one of these ones, these are Haley's. That those are hers. Those are four dollars, and and I cannot give you one of these for free because she wanted to design something where she could make some money. So a dollar of that goes to her. And at that point, uh, so with those, I don't give those away. But the other ones, if you want one, I'm all about supplying those because I want you to reach your goals. I want you to change your mindset. And hey, I hope that when you do it, if when you can't afford three dollars, you can send one in, buy one, and give give that one to somebody else who needs it. Because again, this is about paying it forward. It's about reaching that new level within you. That's why the, the eighth chapter or the ninth chapter, but the, the eighth real bonus part of, of um, journey to success was giving back. Because when it, I realized that once you reached where you wanted and you got where you wanted to go, man, it was, it was even more fun to turn around and help other people get there. And the other thing is, is I want to do more and I can't do it all by myself. I need more people to around me. Like Sean, man, that guy is amazing. If you guys are looking for real estate in Phoenix, if you're looking for opportunities anywhere, I would definitely get connected with Sean Schnoor, or Schnoor. I don't know. I think I said that the right the first time, but get connected to him on Facebook. Um, if you can also go to, uh, well, yeah, Facebook's the easiest place, but it's, it's again, getting connected. Your connections will bring you opportunities. Your connections will bring you opportunities. One more time, your connections will bring you opportunities. So make goals and then complete them, right? Make goals and then complete them. Okay, those are our good words, especially ROI right there in the middle, right? Um, and then the last one is how do we know the difference, right? Here's anonymous and anonymous, okay? 
Now, I've got to do the, the, the video of this so people can see. Otherwise, this will not be funny for anybody just listening. But that's the difference, right? And, and if you mistake them, you could be in, in for a bad, a bad treat. Now, here's the difference between these, all right? Um, homeless and hipster. They both have beards. One's just an ironic beard. They both wear cardigans. One's just a name brand cardigan. They Well, one wears a, a local magazine and the other one has an iPhone. And then uh, authentic worn out jeans and authentic uh, or fake worn out jeans. God, I, that just cracks me up every time I see it. Um, all right. And then the last one, there you go, right? With makeup, without makeup. You got to know how to tell the difference. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. You're going you're gonna to say something wrong. And we want to make sure that we protect you. So it's not about saying the wrong words. It's about saying the right words. And it's about being empowered. And here's one of the ways you can do that. C2CREIA.com. This is our front website. Right here is the front of it. Now, this is what I wanted to show you guys real quick. That is our calendar. Our calendar is kept up to date all the time. Sean is a master. The only reason that there is not information on there that would be happening is if he didn't get it. Like last week, Merrill's, uh, Merrill was on. Sean didn't get it till that morning. So you can't, you can't say anything about that. But every time he gets it, it's up on there. It's got hyperlinks and everything in it. It's amazing. He does a great job. Let's all give Sean a round of applause. Yeah, Sean. Man, he is awesome. You know what Sean's doing is he's doing this. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. That's what Sean's doing right now. Okay, so next but not least, or I don't know what, the, what that even meant, but webinars is our next one, right? And on webinars, you're going to see Ivan's Bird Dog uh, to, to Intern webinar, the Journey to Success webinar, our ALF webinar is on there. And then I'm going to be starting a new series called, I, I, and I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, but something like, it, you know, we have the Experts Corner on here. If you look up at the top right there, right? And that's all of our blogs. I think I'm also going to be, or I know that I'm going to be bringing guest uh, webinar hosts on so we can start having some different concepts because I think that that's something that's going to be good, bringing different ideas in and, and having them show you what they do and, and how they do it. So that'll be another one, all right? Podcasts. Guys, I'm telling you right now, you can give up the radio, give up songs for education, for things that will inspire you. On our podcast, we have, I am not kidding, probably hundreds of hours of audio on there. Journey to Successes, the radio shows, Bird Dog to Intern, Flip It or Hold It. There is so much audio on there that is so great for you guys to listen to that you can listen to it all day long and just get motivated, motivated, motivated. Because I'm going to tell you right now, when you, when you have those ideas on the front of your head, in the front of your brain, on the tip of your tongue, it's going to bring up more opportunities because you're thinking about it. You're putting those dots together. You're connecting them. So I promise that'll happen. It, it, it does every time. Call in line. Hey, here's something cool. If you guys have questions about real estate, you have questions about anything, why not call in to our call in line from uh, Monday through Friday from 10 to 11? That is the number 760-931-1604. That's 760-931-1604. You can call in that, uh, that number 10 to 11, Monday through Friday, um, in the in the morning Pacific, Pacific. Golly, let me rephrase that. You can call in at any time Monday through Friday from 10 to 11 a.m. Pacific, and we will be there. The other one is the message line. You guys can always call and leave a message if you have a question about anything, and we will get back to you. It's just our company corporate line that that has an answering machine on it, so that we can get back to anybody. All right, and that's that line. Connect with us. Hit that tab and you're going to see all of the different um, links that we have that we're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, all those things. So you guys can go ahead and click those and connect with us instantly. Now, Rebel Mouse, if you guys follow that on Rebel Mouse, it'll give you all of our posts and updates. It's a really cool thing. I just wanted to show you that. But here's the other really cool thing. I wanted to make sure that everybody could listen to the, the, to the radio show and not have to worry about it. They could literally listen live. If you want to listen live, all you have to do is go to our website right here, click on that button. That, um, that banner, Monday through Friday from 10 to 11 a.m. Pacific, and you will go right to our show. It'll play it live right there. So it doesn't matter where you guys are around the world, this will work no matter what. All right, then this is our today's motivational video. I'm just giving you a little tour around the, uh, around the website here. Um, our motivational video, every day we do a motivational video I do with my girls. They always go up right there. So I think that that's pretty cool. Out Right on the front of the site, you're going to be able to find all of this cool stuff. Next thing, there's our radio show. So that'll be the very last radio show that is, is been aired. 
that one's from Friday. Obviously, as soon as Monday hits, it'll go right up there. And then Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So you can go to the front of our site and you can get access to all of these tools. They're all right there for you. The goals program is right there. <clears throat> and then, oh, man, hold on. Let me go back again real quick. Um, we have about the webinars, locations. So if you guys want to join one of our locations, and if you if you see a location that we aren't and you are, and you're interested in, hey, man, how do I, I want to start a location here, contact us. We can talk to you about that too. All right. Okay. Now with that, Here's what we got going on the radio show this week. Monday, it's always about the listener. So you guys call in and ask any questions you guys want. Again, what's that phone number? Not a problem. 760-931-1604. So call into that number and ask us anything because it's all dedicated to you. Tuesday, we're going to have Jillian Sedoti on. She's our resident attorney, and she is going to have a tip for us. Wednesday is Leslie Horn, who is the CEO of Third Squared. Um, she is... Or yeah, three squared. Sorry, not third squared, three squared. She is just an awesome individual too. She's got a lot of stuff going on. And I think it's cool that I wanted to, I want to show you guys different aspects of everything. And I think having her on, she's in a, the CEO of the company. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. She's got a lot of stuff to share. We have uh, Thursday, we have Skip Schnecker um, from Ready for Remodel. And then we have that night, Ivan Obron's Bird Dog to Interim Coaching Call. I love that picture, man. That cracks me up. And then on Friday, we're going to have Jean Garino for the, uh, our ALF expert talking about assisted living. We're going to be doing a training in um, March, I believe. We're going to be doing a training out there. And then to answer your question, oh, man, you guys haven't seen any of that stuff because the polls are open. Um, okay, well, I think I just answered all of that, but I don't think anybody just saw anything that I just did. Yep. Okay, here we go. So let's go back again real quick. And I'll show you guys what I just did. <laughs> okay, I don't know when the poll went up. I think I think the it was after this, right? After these guys, um, the the homeless people, and then uh, you got to know the difference. Um, let's see. Now going back to here is the uh, what I was just talking about. There's the calendar that uh, um, Sean does. There's our webinars tab. There's the podcast tab. All right, there's our call in line. There's our message line, the connect with us tab. All right, there's our rebel mouse. There is the play. That's the banner that I was referring to that you just hit play on that. Okay. Um, the today's motivational video right there. That's where you go and it'll have every day's motivational video. And then today's radio show is right there as well. All right. Um, the radio show for this week, again, just going through this one, is Monday is you, Tuesday is Jillian Sedoti, Wednesday is Leslie Horn, Thursday is Skip Schnecker, um, Thursday night is Ivan Obron's Bird Dog to Intern Coaching Call, and then Friday is Jean Garino, our ALF expert. Man, I got this picture. How awesome is that picture, right? I love the colors, too. Anyways, all right. Here is our Investing Coast to Coast. That is our new logo. I love that logo. I just think it's so awesome. Um, but I wanted to encourage you again, guys, to call in, call in and become part of the show. This is your opportunity to ask whatever you want and get involved. I mean, I, I don't know. I just think it's cool. And, and I want to make sure that we provide that opportunity to you guys. So, um, you guys can call at 760-931-1604, or you can do the message line at 888-570-7464. The other thing you guys can do is tweet. You can go ahead and tweet your question and then just put the hashtag right there. C2C, R-E-I-A dot, um, R-E-I-A, that's it. C2C REIA on it. And, um, and we can see that as well in our, in our feed. And that way we can jump on that and uh, answer those questions as well. All right. You guys should all read. Um, I'm a big proponent on reading. I think that it's, it's a huge thing that, you know, you're not going to always be able to get close to a lot of people, but what you can do is you can read their books and see how they think, see what they did, see the questions that they asked themselves to get where they are. And that way you can get where you want. I mean, I feel like I'm in in New York right now. I, we can never hear sirens around here, but we're almost done. So it's no big deal. You can follow me at PeteAsmus.com. That site is now up and functional. Um, it doesn't have a lot of content, but what I am doing is when you go to PeteAsmus.com, right over there on the right side, that sidebar, you're going to see, um, in fact, here, I'll show you. It's pretty cool. Um, not here. Where did I put it? I think it's, uh, Okay, well, we'll go like this. 
and pedasmus.com. And there, right over here, you see that's the last, um, my, this episode will be up here soon, um, as well as over here on Investing Coast to Coast. There's our new logo, this guy right here. I just think this, I don't know where it went. There it is. Man, I think that thing is so cool for go make something happen, right? Um, and then if you go to, uh, obviously on our, on our site, if I can find it, man, I've got all these stupid things open. Um, C2CREI.com. And when you go here, just give you a live version of the front of the website that I was talking about. We've got all of our tabs up here, the podcast experts corner, which is pretty cool. It has all the blogs, but again, on the front, I did the same thing. So here's the experts corner right here, right? And if you look down, it has the last two posts that were done on the experts corner. We have more than just uh, Liz on here, but everybody, again, it's the last two. So man, what is going on? It's like, there must be a high-speed chase going on outside or something. They're not going fast though, so it's really weird. Um, and then listen to our last webinars right here. Uh, you've got um, last weekend's and then you've got Ivan Oberon's as well. So we've got all this stuff right here. Here's our upcoming events. All you got to do is you were going, if you were thinking, hey, you know what? Next uh, Wednesday, I've got nothing going on. What's going on with them? You can see who's going to be on the show and what the show is going to be about. If you go to, is that Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. You can see all the different meetings that we have, right? It's pretty cool. Our goal program is right here. So you can just go ahead and put your name in, emails, put your goal that you want to have done. And then what is your why? Because here's the thing. You want to achieve your goal. You better have a good why. If you don't know why you're doing the goal, I mean, the chances of you actually completing it are going to be a miracle. They just are because you don't even know why you're going after it. So as soon as it gets hard, you're gone. You're out of here. Why are you going to fight hard to complete something if you don't even know why you're doing it? So the why has got to be important. Now, the cool part about the goal program is I chopped it up into two weeks because if we had a 10-week program, you'd have a goal of 10 weeks. And then every two weeks, you should have goals to lead up to that 10-week program. So make sure that you guys are setting goals that are big, but also setting goals that are small, goals that you can accomplish and get to the next level. You should have a two-week goal, and every day you should have a goal that leads up to the two-week goal. That's part of what this is about showing you how to do, keeping you on track and focusing you down. So go and check that out as well. And then right here, this is all of our locations. So you can go ahead and you can, I mean, it's super easy. If say you lived in Seattle, you can go to Seattle and go, hey, I live here. And then you could, you could join the group just as easy as that. And then we have all the different things that we have connected. But um, I'll tell you right now, if you live there, it's good because the live meetings are be on there. But everything that's on everybody's is also on here, on our, um, on our calendar. So the easiest way to really see what's going on with us all across the universe um, is just by going to the calendar and checking out what's on here and then clicking on what you kind of want to see. All right. Um, with that, I want to thank everybody for being on. Look at that, man. Right on the right on the money. One hour is fun. This was fun, though. Did you guys have a good time? I'm hoping that you guys did. See, I can't say that word. That's a horrible word to say. Why would I even say that, Hope? Um, I'm confident that you guys had a good time. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again next week when we go into um, a different, our, our new our new chapter, which is, man, I can't remember what it is right now. I've been working on five different chapters at the same time, kind of. So I feel like discombobulated, but I believe it has to do with um, knowing where, you're, oh, no, it's not, it's not knowing where you're at. But anyways, we'll get into that next week and we'll have some fun. I appreciate you guys being on the call tonight. Do you guys have any questions before we go? Um, and realize that I will be reading these out loud. I'm glad it wasn't just me having the problems with the video feed. Thank you very much, Chris, on the logo. I appreciate that. Um, by the way, did I get back through everything, though, and answer all the questions that we had? Did you guys get to see everything that I was talking about um, when, I, when, I, when I had that one uh, thing on there? the poll. And I'm just asking this so you guys stay on. A lot of times I've, I've, I ended up cutting off the video. Like I ended up cutting this right now. And then I ask if everybody has any questions and then you guys have had some really, really good questions. So I like to keep the video going and, and the whole recording going until the end of that. Um, until we're all done with that. And the reason is
I want the world to know my name. I think that the world should know my name. So it's all about making sure that we do everything we can every way to make this as great and as, as challenging and as inspirational and uplifting and educational for you guys as possible. I hope today, golly, man, I don't hope. I know today you guys got good information, good tools. Do you guys feel like you got some, some meat, some actionable information you could take off with? What is, oh, the Atlanta in April. That is, we're going out to Atlanta to go and buy properties. We're going to do buy and holds and we're going to do buy and flips. Um, and we're going out there in uh, April. In fact, we have a, we have a um, video on it. If you go to c2creia.com forward slash action, A-C-T-I-O-N, action, right? It'll take you right to the landing page and you can read all about it and check it out. And there's a video and everything else. But again, on this, I'm not trying to, to sell anybody anything on this. What I, the only thing I'm trying to, my God, the only thing I am selling you on this is a change in mindset. It's a change in the way that you're doing things. We have a ton of other opportunities and options and things like that, but we have a ton of things that are free too. So focus on those if that's where you're at. Focus on what you need to do to get the next level. If that's what you need to do is be a bird dog, be a bird dog. If what you need to do is get better mindset, but be plugged into this every single week. There's no reason you shouldn't be because this gives you actionable information. I'm telling you things that I've done, questions that I've asked that have given me different results. And that's what you want, right? So it's time to step up. It's time to step out and it's time to step in. It's time to step step out of the life that you're living. Step out of the, the circumstances that you're staying in. Step out of the, the realm of what you feel is possible. Step up your expectations of yourself. Step up your effort. Step up your willingness to do whatever it takes. And then step into the life that you've just created. Because here's the thing. You've got to shatter who you are for who you want to become. Which means on a daily basis, you're changing. On a daily basis, you are doing different things that you've never done before. But then you're going to turn around and go, oh my God. Look at how different I am now. Now I'm the person that I wanted to be. Like when I said before, I, I would love to be an author when I was like 25. Oh, that would be so awesome to be an author. La, 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 la. The reality was I had to write something to be an author. And I, I couldn't just write one thing. That's just writing a book. I found a passion in doing it. Like I love writing. I love putting words together that, I mean, and, and if you listen to me on the radio show, it doesn't sound like I know, you know, vocabulary at all because I make up words and I just do what I want. But yeah, that's what I'm talking on the radio. That's not when I'm writing a book. I don't make up words when I'm writing the book. I don't, I use very concise, you know, that's the other thing that writing a book taught me how to use words better, how to be concise with the words because you don't want fluff in there. I don't want to have 40 pages of BS that nobody wants to read, right? I wanted everything to be just like, honestly, like cutting. Like where it's just like every time you read, you felt like you got cut. Like it was just like, God, man, that hurt. Why? Why did that hurt so much? Because it showed me what I wasn't doing. And I've got to do something about it now. I wanted to provide pain to create a different result. I wanted to provide inspiration. And sometimes some of us move towards pleasure. Some of us move away from pain. So it takes a, a, a multitude of different, well, a myriad, a myriad of different ways, right? To draw you guys in. Some of you, I need to show you the, the hey, look, this is what you will get. This is what you can have by following your heart, by following what I'm saying to do. And I'm not saying, hey, you need to follow me and do this and you got to raise your right hand and then lift your left hand and you got to draw a picture. I'm not telling you to do all kinds of stupid stuff at, at all. I'm telling you to go after your dream, whatever that is, your dream. You need help with doing different things? Great, I'll, I'll answer any questions you have. But I'm not trying, I don't have a, a, an ulterior agenda here except to impact the world. My ulterior motive is I want to help people. I really do. I really, I want to help people see a different way of, of thinking. I want to help people see a different way of, of, of communicating to themselves to get different results. So yes, I do want something. I do have a big passion, but my passion, my God, what the hell? 
That is crazy, man. I have never, I, I, there must be some kind of ridiculous chase. Some idiots driving around in circles in Marietta right now with a stolen car. Or it's Justin Bieber and drag, drag racing his Lambo out here. I think, I think I saw him the other day. I don't know. He's down from thousand Oaks or something. Um, so back, back to what we were talking about. Um, oh man. And now I don't even remember what we were talking about, but it was, it was important. I'm sure of it. Um, okay. Anyways, guys, thank you. So yes, time to move. Thank you. Um, it's no, it never happens. I mean, in a year I've never had that happen before that, that it's like they're driving up and down this road, which is anyways. So, um, realize that, that without you, right, there is no us. So I do care that, that you do put the why in our success. I mean, when I saw that, right, when I saw the why and our, and you put it together and you've got your, meaning that you create your success. And I still don't to this day know if anybody gets, that's what I mean when I say you put the why in our success. Because what I'm really saying behind that is that through you, we become more successful, but through us, you find your success. Through us, through using our tools, through using our resources, through piggybacking off us, through riding our coattails, whatever it is that you want to call it, that's what I mean. I mean that when you connect with us, when you go for your own things, that when you connect that why, you, and you connect our success, it makes your success. I just think that's amazing. I, 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 and I don't care. I don't care who you are. I still think it's amazing. I still think it's impacting. I still think it's clever and witty and I'm going to love it to the day I die. And that will always be my, my sign off sign because it is true to me. You do put the why in our success. And I want you to realize that go make something happen.com is providing. I promise you, I guarantee go make something happen.com is providing action-based results with your effort. That's what they're doing. That's what Go Make Something Happen is all about. It's all about providing action-based results with your effort. And it's the same thing like when I say uh, my main, I mean, now I want to get three words tattooed on me. I like if I had three words, it'd be believe, action, and motivation. And when you look up believe, action, and motivation on Google, when you Google that, hello, that's where I am. I'm all over that. I am all over that, man. That's, I think that's only me, me on there when you Google those terms, belief, action, and motivation. Because to me, it's about belief, believe in action through motivation. It's believe in action through motivation is the same thing as action-based results. It's the same concept. It's playing with the words, but it's the same meaning that you're going to believe in what you can do through action and motivation. Meaning you have to be motivated to take action. You have to take action to get motivated. They all work together. And when you do those things and they spin up, poof, it creates belief. And you believe you can do anything. But unless you start that churning, unless you start that motion, unless you start spinning things up, it's not gonna happen. You're going to sit there and wonder why nothing happens for you. You're going to start asking those famous questions, right? Why does this always happen to me? Always. It doesn't always happen to you. But whenever we're upset, don't we start exaggerating like there's no tomorrow? <laughs> See? See what I mean there? It's always like that. We, we do that on a consistent basis. How come you always do that? Why do you always do that? How come this always happens? What? It doesn't. But in that emotional state, it feels like that. So why not create that feeling on a consistent basis, but about positive things? My life, I feel that my, I mean, listen to what I'm saying. I feel like my life is consistently awesome. It is. It's because everything that I look at, everything that I focus on is all about how to get more out of positive, how to get more out of the greatness in that situation, how to, how to focus on what is going to get me to the next level. And let me tell you right now, staring at the, the shit that doesn't work isn't going to be doing that for me. Looking at all the things that are going wrong isn't going to get me to that next level. Complaining about how I'm not getting help here, or I'm not getting this there, or I'm not, none of that will get me where I need to go. 
I got to stop that. I've got to stop wasting time on that and start focusing on what will. What are the solutions then? Because blaming anybody else about where I'm at, it's not going to get me anywhere. And nobody cares. You don't care. Do you care why I'm at where I'm at? If I, if I were to tell you, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm homeless and I'm this and I'm that and, you know, my life sucks and this and that. Do you, I mean, is that something that you want to hear that you're looking forward to? No, it isn't. But how awesome would it be to hear somebody that was homeless come up and say, man, I'm going to work. I'm taking the bus. I'm doing this. I'm doing that because I'm going to have a different life and I will do whatever it takes to make that happen. Now, what do you want to do? Now I'm going like, man, I got a hundred bucks here somewhere. Here, go get a hotel room. Because that's how I feel. This guy's doing everything he can to make it. I want to give him a hundred dollars. This guy is begging me for money. I want to, well, I'm not going to help him. <laughs> Let me just say that. Okay. Because I don't, I don't care about the person complaining. I don't care about the person crying. I don't care. And I don't mean crying like that, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. I care about the person that's crying because they're going for it. That's crying because they're fighting so hard that those are tears of, of just pure, pure, just drive of that un, unrelentless willing to, unrelenting willingness to give up. Yes. Yes. Unrelentless willingness to give up. That's what I want to help. That's who I want to help. I was talking to somebody the other day and they were like, you know, I need to write this book. And I was wondering about this and I was wondering about that. And instantly I started thinking of things. I'm like, well, man, you could do this and you could do this and you could do this and you could do this. And I don't understand why people don't think like that. I don't understand why people assume that, that what they have to offer or what they're doing that nobody cares about. Because somebody will, you're going to be able to, it's, but you've got to find the hook within the story. You've got to find the reason that people want to listen, the reason that people want to care. Because you don't want to just tell a story with, hey, today I went here and I went here and I went here and I'm awesome and great and look at me. Because you're right, nobody's going to want to read that book. No, that's a Facebook post is what that is, okay? So a book has got to bring something out in the, the listener, the reader. It's got to bring out an emotion. That is what it can be about. The story, not that it's not irrelevant, but the story isn't as important as the, as the hook within it, as what you're trying to bring out within the reader and ensuring that that is in there. No idea why we're talking about this right now, but we are. So the reason I'm saying that, I would assume, is that, um, I'm try I'm tr is that I am showing you different ways to think outside of the box. That... You've got to start realizing that there aren't lines in the sand, that there aren't rules, that you can do what you want to do, and that you've got to believe in yourself in order for anybody to come along with you and want to support your dream. So dream and focus on something that you love more than life. For me, it's about motivating people. It's about being passionate about about changing the mindset, changing the life. Because to me, all the semantics of real estate, that's just a way to make money. In, in all honesty, real estate to me is just a way to make money. It's, it's, it's only an income stream. It's not, has nothing to do with who I really am. I'm not real estate. I'm, I'm impacting people's lives. I'm changing people's lives. I'm changing the mindsets. I'm, I'm, I'm inspiring the world. I use, I use real estate to make money. And I heard that once from a, from a guru and, and then realized that it wasn't true, that that's not what they were doing. It was just about money. But I loved the way that sounded. That, look, this event is about how to change your life. We're just going to use money to support the, the financial aspect of it. But there's much more to it. That's what I want to create. In fact, that's what I am creating, is a, is a life where, where we're changing your life with what we're doing. We're just using real estate to make some money in the, in the interim, but we're going to change all kinds of aspects, how you communicate with people. We're going to change the way that you look at the world and we're going to change your outcome. That's what I'm all about. All right, guys, thank you so much for being on here tonight. Um, I appreciate everything that, uh, that you guys have, have done. And, and I, I appreciate all the comments too, man. They're amazing. And here, um, let me, let me read this one real quick. Uh, while watching the 
the snowboards at the Olympics and working on a blog. Love the no hype, all action, positive. Vi oh, cool. You're at the Olympics and working on a blog. That's awesome, man. Um, watching snowboarders or listening to you while watching the snowboarders at the Olympics and working on a blog. I'm not sure if that means you're in the Olympics or at the Olympics, but either way, Chris, I appreciate it, man. And I want, I want to impact more people just like you. So here's the thing. There's people around you that you know could benefit from this, from this call, from, from these webinars. And I think I've proven that all I care about is reaching you and impacting you. Let me help impact your friends. Let me help impact your life to the 10th degree. If I could get all of your friends, think about this, all of you right now, if you could get your 10 closest friends to think like me, how amazing would your life be? How cool would it be? I mean, my God, there's, you guys would definitely get stuff done, right? How awesome, how great of a mood would you constantly be in? How positive would you constantly be? How much would you think that anything was possible? So why wouldn't you want to share this information with other people? It doesn't make sense. The more you can get people to think the way that we're thinking in this class that are in this movement, really, it's not even a class, it's a movement, it's a webinar, but go make something happen is a movement. Journey to success is a movement. And the more people that you get connected to this movement, the more connected and the more successful you will be. That's all there is to it. Because if you get people moving at 10 times their speed and you're moving at 10 times your speed, you guys together are at like 100 times what is possible. So create that, uh, that, that, create that insatiable need inside of you. It doesn't matter. Again, that's why I say you could be going for real estate or you could want to be a snowboarder. These rules apply. Everything that I'm saying right now applies to anything in any category that you want to snap it up into. It is completely irrelevant what you're doing or how you want to attain your success. You have to do these steps to get there. Whether it's starting a company as a restaurateur or whether it's becoming a real estate investor. Either one, it's going to take this. Even if it's going back to college, you're still going to have to stay focused. You're still going to have to consistently do things to reach your goals. And you're still going to have to set goals. Period. Nobody successful doesn't set goals. You can't, <clears throat> there's no way to reach success without setting goals. Now, and, and I, no, you know what? I'm going to stay with that because I believe that to the bottom of my heart. Can you make money and not have goals? Absolutely. Yep, you can. You can. You could, you could be, you could be um, taken and you could, you could become an actor, right? And you could make a lot of money in a movie. You could, win the lottery. So yes, there's definitely different ways that you could, you could make money without having goals. But what I'm telling you is every successful person sets goals. They all do. They all make lists of things that they need to get accomplished. They all make goals of what they want to have done. Some of them are called project earnings. Some of them are called, um, you know, P and L reports, but believe me, everybody has goals. If Nike, Apple, IBM, the, the government, if they all have goals and they feel that goals are, are, are a necessity to be successful, how in the world are you doing it all on your own? Why is it that if, if brilliant minds think that this is what it takes to make that happen, how is it that you think that you can do it without doing that? So then the question is, when are you going to start? When are you going to start writing down your goals every day? When is your life going to become important enough that you take it seriously? When is your life going to become so important that writing down your goals is like eating breakfast? I mean, I've asked this over and over and over again, but I want you guys to do this again. I want you guys to all write down your goals tonight. When we're done right now, I want you to write down your goals and I want you to take a picture of them and post them on Costa Costa Ria's uh, site or their, or tag me in the picture, Pete Asmus, tag me in it. That, that'll be fine. And then I'll, I'll upload it to where I want it to go. But I want you guys to start writing down your goals and showing them to me on, on, on Mondays or every day. I mean, seriously, why can't you do that every day? Couldn't you? Why, why wouldn't you do that every day? Write down your goals, take a picture, upload it, 
tag me in it. Write down your goals, take a picture, upload it, tag me in it. You want something different out of life, right? So what are you willing to do to get that difference? Are you willing to write down your goals and tag me in it? Are you willing to spend five minutes a day to reach something different in your life? Or is that asking too much? Is five, is five minutes a day too much out of your time, too much out of your life to give something to you? And I ask that because I've now been on here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 five minute increments. 17 of them I've given to you. So if I can give you 17 increments, of five minutes. Why can't you give me seven increments of five minutes and write down your goals, take a picture and send them to me? Because here's what I'm asking you to do. And I don't know if you're aware of this. I'm asking you to become successful. I'm asking you to take your life seriously. I'm asking you to become more important than everything else. I'm asking you to reach success. That's it. Five minutes a day. That's what I'm asking. I gave you 17 increments of five minutes. Gave them to you. Didn't even ask for anything. Now I'm going to ask for something. But I'm only asking for something from you that benefits you. It benefits me in zero ways. Except that when you do it and you become invigorated and you're like, oh my God, this is awesome. That's going to send me through the moon. That's going to send me through the roof. That When I get those emails and go, oh my God, I cannot believe this, Pete. That was so amazing. I started writing down my goals and then this happened and this happened and this happened and this happened and this happened. That's where I'm going to go nuts. That's where I'm going to get my, my payment. So if you want to know what do I get out of it, that's what I get out of it. But let me tell you, nothing else. Do I don't get anything else out of this because you benefit by writing down your goals. Not me. You do. I'm not, they're not my goals. They're your goals. It should not be this difficult for me to get you to write down your goals to benefit your life, right? I mean, it shouldn't be. And there we're using that stupid word again. And that's how you get rid of that word over and over and over again. Then you get welts. But that's a, that's a cool part about these things is the game, right? Because then you have the friends and you have your friends wear the wristbands and they say the words and you staff the wristband. And, and now you get pain attached to that word. Anyways, so with that said, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Um, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate you guys being on here tonight. Um, whoa, hello. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys every week in all honesty. It's, this is my favorite part of the week is doing this show. So thank you guys for doing that for me. I look forward to seeing your posts. I look forward to seeing your, your connections. And I look forward to seeing you. Have a great night. Uh, have a great night, guys. And as always, Without you, there is no us because you put the why in our success. Have a great night, guys.